Alright guys, welcome to another beer review. We've got something pretty damn special and it's a collaboration brew between two breweries who everything I've had by them, which is not a lot, I've really enjoyed and I need to drink more from these guys. Uh, two of probably the most well regarded and um, acclaimed British craft breweries and that's of course Magic Rock and Cloudwater, and this is the Big Dipper, which is a double IPA in a lovely tall boy can. Big Dipper, which I'm guessing is a play on words of how some people pronounce a double IPA, I suppose. And, uh, well, absolutely fantastic artwork there. Uh, the lighting in here does this no justice because this is so nice and vibrant. It sort of reminds me of um, a French graphic designer called Para, um, who He's done a lot of like record sleeves and done a lot of t-shirt commissions and that sort of stuff. But he's usually got like characters with like weird faces. But um, yeah, unfortunately it doesn't tell you who's designed this. And I really want to know because I love to not only promote the beer inside, but also if it's got gorgeous artwork and it's been done by someone, I want to give them a shout out as well. So if I find out who it is, links will be down below. Double IPA clocking in at 8.5 three percent is that or 8.5 no 8.3 and malts are golden promise wheat malt oat malt and crystal malt hops are t90 magnum citra simcoe eureka mosaic and then cryo hops lupulin powder citra uh well lupulin powder for citra i think and double ipa yeast 500 mils of a double ipa from uh magic rock and cloud water I'm not going to say no. I think I paid just under five quid for this from uh, Beer Moth in Manchester. One of those things where as soon as I saw it, I thought I'm going to have to buy it. Picked it up and uh, yeah. New Year's Eve, the big boys are coming out. Let's see what this is like. Let's open it then. Now this has been in the fridge for today. Not too much though. But well, you definitely hear that carbonation in the glass itself. But uh, yeah, in terms of colour, that is a lovely orangey, murky sort of colour. Uh, you can just about see inside the beer itself, but you've got all of that wonderful sediment there just floating around at its own pace. Not too carbonated. It's got some slight amberish hues in there, very pale amber hues, burnt sunset. But yeah, very, very dense looking beer and uh, poured with no head whatsoever. So uh, let's see what it smells like. Ooh. Just the big fruity hop characters right up front. Ooh. I'm getting like orange juice, lemon juice in there. Getting that round tree fruit pastel sort of vibe. And then you've got this lovely bittering sensation on the nose as well. You're definitely not getting any of that 8.3% there. But yeah, big juicy aromas. Not sure what the IBUs are, but just from the aroma alone, I'm getting like that real big bitter kick. Yeah, it smells absolutely wonderful. Very punchy. Not a really vibrant, fruity, sort of like tropical IPA. But you definitely get that fruit in there. Like you've got real fruit juice, if that makes sense. Anyway. Let's see if it tastes anywhere near as good as it smells. Cheers. There is no way that that is an 8.3% beer. You are not getting any of that alcohol in there. No alcohol kick. The ever, ever so faint, like, warming sensation going down, but you could have easily attribute that to the bitterness, to be honest. And that bitterness is really, really nice. It starts off, yeah, a little bit of a kick on the front of your palate. And it dies down a bit, and then it comes back with a vengeance on that back end. It's nice, juicy. It's got a real sense of crispness about it. Uh, being a double IPA, you do get that body though. It's got a nice, not like a heavy body per se, but it's got a bit of a kick in that department. Lovely tingliness on your tongue as well. 
But yeah, getting a bit of grapefruit in there. Getting a lot of like a resiny sort of a flavour there as well. That's absolutely wonderful. I mean, Cloudwater, you know, they're well known for their double IPAs. And Magic Rock, they're well known for their utilisation of hops. You get these two people coming together, or two breweries coming together, and you've got something magical. And the fact that it's in a 500ml can just, you know, makes it that little bit more special. Because, yeah, I love craft beer, but I'm starting to get a little bit bored now with the 330ml stuff. That's why I'm, like, seeing stuff in Germany now where you're getting in, like, 500ml bottles. And, uh, yeah, you've got to pay a little bit more. But when it's a drink like this, you've got 500 mils of it. That's not going to last you at all. So amazingly drinkable. But yeah, lovely, punchy, hoppy, fruity flavours in this one. And uh, yeah, it's not a delicate double IPA by stretch. You do get that bit, like I was saying, that oomph. But it should not be this drinkable. Let's see what we've got with the rest of it in the glass. And uh, yeah, that's just like a solid colour now. Uh, a lot more orange. It's actually got a slight grapefruit look to it as well. Oh, lovely aroma. It's actually a little bit more delicate now that I've poured it all in. Probably because of that heads incorporating with the rest of the beer. But um, yeah, if you love IPAs, then you need to try this one out because this is... This is fantastic, it really is. I'm so glad that I've drunk this just before the end of 2016 so I can class it as one of my favourite beers of 2016. I'm, I'm waffling, I'm rambling, I don't care. This is a terrific little beer. Just that lovely combination of fruitiness and bitterness there. And uh, yeah, fantastic, fantastic stuff. So if you've tried this one, then let me know your thoughts and opinions. Uh, double IPAs, I friggin love double IPAs, straight away from the can and then to drink it, it's just, that's fantastic, fantastic stuff. And uh, yeah, I can't really pick out anything wrong with that beer. I'm really excited about the use of this, this uh, like lupulin powder now, I think it's just, what you can do with craft beer, a beer in general, is just fantastic and uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing more breweries using this uh, when it comes a little bit more available because I think this is just like given to some select breweries to toy around with. And uh, yeah, wonderful stuff. So uh, yeah, if you've tried this one, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Uh, what's your favourite double IPA? Um, are you a fan of the Cloudwater double IPAs? What's your favourite Magic Rock beer? Uh, yeah, just hit me up in the comments and... Um, my night's going off to a great start, um, and I, I don't know, I'm just talking absolute shit because I'm lost for words with this beer, it really is a wonderful, wonderful beer. Anyway, check out both Magic Rock and Cloudwater down below, I've got a playlist of both breweries in there, I've got, only got a few beers by those. Um, I'm getting all tongue tied now. I just want another taste of this beer. You know the score. Just check out all that information. If any of uh, my fellow UK beer tubers have reviewed this one, give their review a bit of a look. Brewing is an art form, and uh, it's when you get beers like this that completely cements that. And uh, yeah, I don't care if you think I'm completely overplaying this beer. I think it's a wonderful beer. It's ticking all the boxes for you right now. It's a 10 out of 10. So um, yeah. Anyway. See you guys later. Cheers.